Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zombie Bites Theater. We are celebrating the one and only spooky season. That's right. Every weekday this month, we are reviewing one little horror short to celebrate our favorite time of year. Uh, And we hope that you will join us. This can be an interactive experience. We want to know your thoughts. So you should. And there's a great way to do it. You can just leave them right below in the comments. And we'll see them. And we'll read them. And we'll be like, wow, that was really deep. I'm glad that I <laughs> Ariel, what are we watching this time? <laughs> so we are watching The Other Side of the Box from 2018. You can find this one on YouTube. It was directed and co-written by Caleb J. Phillips, who has directed one other short and a feature-length thriller comedy called Brothers in Arms. And he's also done a ton of work as a camera operator and a visual effects artist. And this one was originally recommended to Rachel and I by Jazz and Kat from Girl That's Scary when they came on our show, More Deadly. And it left an impression. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. I remember thinking it was creepy, but rewatching it, I was like, oh, that's right. all right sarah what is it about a couple receives a mysterious package from an old friend that seems to change every time they look away from it (laughs) all right matilda had you seen this before was this a first watch this was a first watch for me and i have to tell you this one scared the crap (laughs) (laughs) i don't know what it is about the little like kilroy was here situation in that box well first when they can't when there's no light in the box Mm -hmm. it's unnerving it's the first one it's the first one of these shorts that i've actually wanted to turn away from that i've been like i don't know if i can do it like wow. it, it didn't give me a nightmare, but definitely like I've thought about it when, when, when an Amazon box arrived at my house this week. I oh, no! <laughs> I was like, don't open it. Yeah, yeah. it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> That's amazing. So good. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Sarah? What did you think? Oh, I enjoyed this one. I mean, it's it's spooky that, yeah, the, the, the thing coming out of the box, like that first shot of it is it, it's not gory it's not scary it but it is so unnerving and then how the how the 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 girlfriend just keeps staring at it like you can almost see that it's like sucking her in there's yes. just sort of like yeah it, it just oh and then the ending the ending is like, ending. Uh, yeah <laughs> The ending is total nightmare fuel to me. Right? It, it's such a great setup. And you, the very beginning, some of the acting is a little shaky, like in the like two inches, no oh, banter, right. banter. Yeah. <laughs> but there's this moment of resignation and just like, no, on his face when he looks away one last time. And you're like, oh, devastating, devastating. <laughs> All right, Ariel, how is it revisiting for you? Honestly, probably just as scary as the first time I watched it. This short is really, really scary and affecting. I mm-hmm. We watched this early in the year, and I feel like every so often I picture it and just like shudder a little bit, you know? Like it's it's so creepy. And Matilda is right. It's, it's weird because the head like sticking out of the box, I feel like shouldn't be that scary. It should be silly. But it, it, yes, yeah, it should be. But it's there's something kind of terrifying about it. It's and so unexpected. Yeah, it's so unexpected. And then when he sticks his little fingers out, you're just like, Ugh, you know, and then, I, I don't know. It's so and creepy. Then, and then all the running water. Yeah. The water's creepy. The scene where he's talking to the friend on the phone while he's in the car and he has to make the UE, like right, right when he's saying like, you have to be the one looking at it. It's you. And you're just like, oh, God, what's happening back there? It's so scary. And just the idea that, like, it's forcing you to look at the scary thing. Because if you look away from it, it's going to kill you or it's going to get worse. So Mm -hmm. the fact that you just have to stare at the nightmare fuel is really upsetting. And especially at the end with the the guy when he, like, reaches up to the light switch. Ah! Oh, my Ugh. God. So scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's really scary. And it does this thing, the same thing that Night- Nightmare on Elm Street did, where it puts you in an impossible situation to survive. Yeah. 
because yeah. you can't like it follows. You could presumably just keep going. You could just keep going. Um, eventually, you know, it might catch up to you, but there is a scenario in which you can escape this thing. You can't watch it forever. You right. can't. It there's there's once he gets the box, his fate is inevitable. Um, and that's really terrifying. Eventually, he's going to have to sleep something. And if he and, and that that sort of inevitability kind of lives in this dream logic of my particular nightmares. And so I think that really impacted me, like on a personal level, like that's that's the kind of dream logic that exists in my nightmares. And and I don't know if it's just the casting of the guy in the box, but his eyes as there's a point where he the guy moves and the, it just sort of watches him move yes. it's similar to the way that it does mm -hmm. in alexia i think it's again this like the stillness except for the moving eyes is deeply predatory and like my lizard brain is like mm -mm, no 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 mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know it's this really great really messed up almost like urban legend i don't know i love this one i loved it just as much this time if you guys have not if you guys are watching these and not watching it you need to go watch this one for sure. This is like the highest recommendation for me. Yeah. How about you ladies? Yeah, this is probably yeah. one of my favorite short films I've ever watched because it creeped me out so deeply. Yes. And it's hard to find that even in a feature length film. The fact that it was done so quickly. Uh, it's really good. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. What creeps yeah. me out the most is the thought of having like a bunch of wet naked people touch me. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> you're never gonna make it through full something <laughs> all, right. all right <laughs> it makes it less threatening to me <laughs> what are we watching uh tomorrow uh matilda so tomorrow we are going to be watching Suicide by Sunlight from 2018, which you can find on YouTube. So we hope you will come back tomorrow and join us. Um, and if we hope you enjoyed our review of The Other Side of the Box. Have you seen this one? Because if so, put your thoughts in the comments. Put how many nightmares this gave you in the comments. How many... How many nightmares did that give you in the comments? I know. <laughs> what was that? Oh, cat issues. <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no well it wouldn't be a zombie girls joint without some cat issues you know right? there that's always right. has to be at least one chaos demon in the mix <laughs> that's right ask us your unlicensed cat therapist questions we'll do our best to <laughs> and we will see you back here tomorrow everybody bye, bye. bye everybody <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> is everybody okay everybody's okay Thanks to everybody for listening, and thank you to my co-hosts. Our theme music for this episode is Apprehensive at Best by BizBass Studio. <laughs> <laughs>